mobile world is just about to explode. There are thousands of new apps coming onto the market and the hardware, our phones, they are getting more and more performant. Now, so far, we secure that with a pin. PIN can be stolen. All the various other uh, sliding security features, they can be stolen or hacked. And um, they are not fixing the machine to the person. So one of the big manufacturers of operating systems came up with a biometric face verification. You see, it's running so easy that you show your face and it would open it. Now, unfortunately, it's not all that safe because if you take a second phone and you take a photograph of yourself like this and then you go and show this photograph to the machine you have seen it will open it as simple as that now that of course is not sufficient for safety now biometry has developed a technology whereby are used three biometric features simultaneously. It's the biometric face verification, it's the biometric voice verification, each vocal cord is giving a different pitch, computer can calculate that and identify that, and it's the word recognition, what word is spoken. So with the three simultaneously to one singular phone, it's very difficult to fake the three um, at the same time. And, in addition, randomized numbers are being asked. Now, the beauty of that system is when someone is stealing the authentication file while it is transmitted over GSM or on the Internet and trying to do a replay attack using it to enter, it doesn't work because the authentication server next time would ask different numbers. So, I would like to show you how that system runs. For that, we first of all need to open um, my mobile phone. And I click on the icon Biometric Verification. It would give me some time to prepare myself and ask me randomized numbers. Four, zero, nine, three. Now you see each number is checked against the three systems. Everything is sent, condensed, encrypted, sent to the authentication server sitting in the cloud. And if it is me, I get back a QR code. Now, either with that QR code or with near-field communication, I could communicate that outside and I could use it for physical access, opening doors. I could use it for logical access, I could open there for an internet access like e-banking or so. We could even use it to do a Windows logon with this technology. So finally, our mobile phone would serve us to do literally everything. And just we should not just have highest um, security, we should also have highest usability. It should be happening so easily, you see. So therefore, another feature, what we have protected, is that you could, um, by naturally using your phone, do authentications. What do we do when our phone rings? Of course, we first look who is calling me. There we would take a snapshot and take the face. The user would then bring the phone towards the ear where we do a second snapshot of the ear, also a biometric feature. And sooner or later the user starts talking, then we take the voice and we do it redundant. We take what we get and we don't wait for everything to slow down the process. And thereby, after that, we give, if it is the speech only, it's a low level of trust. If it is face, ear, speech, all perfectly well, well, it's a higher level of trust. And the highest level of trust, of course, is with those four randomized numbers, the 12 fused processes, of course. So we separate the momentum of authentication and the momentum of usage of it. And that is making the whole thing so easy to use. Highest usability 
and yet highest security. That is the cradle of biometry. Thank you. So now we're using that technology to do logical access control. Meaning, even if we are in an unsafe environment, shall we say in an internet cafe, and I want to go on a secured logical access uh, e-banking, for example, then we can do so without fearing keystroke loggers of the client in such an environment. And all we have to do is open up the hyperlink. In this case, we have a uh, Biobank, biometry bank, I key in, I'm user 81, I key in the number 81 and I start. So it's telling me user 81 wants to enter to Biobank and has to do it against an authentication process numbered 8657. And when I'm using my phone and I'm starting my authentication process, as usual it gives me five seconds to get ready, now it's telling me you still have an authentication process waiting for you. Of course the authentication server knows that. And it's repeating the same information. User 81, Biobank and authentication process 8657. By the way, you notice I get three minutes time to do so. If that peters out, I would have to restart it. Now it's so easy, I click on doing the challenge. So let's do it. Four, zero, six, four. So each number is taken the three biometric features, condensed, sent to the authentication server, and the authentication server passes the entrance ticket directly to the banking server. Now we call that safe and easy. So just imagine we could open all of our doors with that mobile authentication. You remember, uh, for highest level, we ask those four randomized numbers. Each number is checked against face, voice and word recognition. Fused 12 processes to get one decision. Very highest level of security. Or just the voice on each phone call or face, ear, voice. Um, so it's very convenient. And this adaptive trust level that handles this trust in the phone with that embedded uh, application would allow us uh, at a given time to call up on that trust level and we would have that in form of a QR code and this QR code we simply show to a door and uh, the appropriate camera would recognize it and open the door. Please note here I'm online over GSM. The door is connected over the internet. Um, so it's actually the authentication server uh, that does the proper work of it. And you have seen how quickly that is happening. Now, I'd like to show you um, how it would be happening if I am in front of a very secure door and I want to go through. So then, of course, I would need to do our four numbers. So let's just quickly run through the process. As discussed before, it gives me five second time. Zero, two, six, two. So now, as usual, each number is checked against the three biometrics, the 12 processes fused, compared on the cloud authentication server, and I get this code again. It's great, isn't it? Thank you. So here again we have a very useful uh, application and that is to bring that biometric security to the Windows logon. It's the same procedure. Um, our telephone would authenticate against the person. Uh, fusing those uh, 12 biometric procedures, you remember four figures, uh, four numbers, and each one is checked with face, voice and word recognition all sent over GSM to the authentication server sitting on the cloud and uh, the authentication server would actually give the signal 
to the opening of Windows, Windows Logon, directly to the Windows machine. So again, absolute security. Now, the way it runs is that I go on this screen and I key in the user number, which in my case is 81. Then it would tell me user 81 wants to go on that application and it gives me a biometric authentication target key number, which in this case is 2900. So all I need to do is authenticate. Again, it will give me the five seconds time uh, to get ready. And you see, here it's showing that user 81 wants to go on biometric demo against the authentication target number 2900. So all I need to do is continue to the challenge and do the numbers. One, three, four, three, so, data, GSM, up to the authentication server, there it's compared to my reference templates, and if it is me, I get a message here, and you see, automatically my window starts, without me touching anything. Oh, we call that smart, and save. Thank you. Now, wouldn't it be great that we could link all of our mobile payments to that biometric security? For the highest level of payment, uh, we would ask for the four number. Uh, you remember the 12 fused biometric processes for one decision. That could give the maximum amount that can be paid by the user. But low-level adoptive uh, trust with taking the voice only on several phone calls already could give a low percentage of trust. And the majority of the payments that we do throughout our day are smaller sums. It's not every day that we pay several thousand um, of euro important amount. So again, the utility of that process is very high, very useful. In addition, I could do my ticket at home, shall we say high level with those four numbers, and I could pass it on to my children via SMS. So finally, I end up on my mobile phone with a ticket, and that ticket is limited in amount, here it is 46 euro, until the 16th of September. So I acknowledge that ticket. And then the person would go and do shopping, and in the shop would be entered, shall we say, two euro and processed. Okay, so now we do near field payment. And the user would see what amount he has to pay and one could easily imagine that the products he purchased are listed just below. And he gets the chance of saying, yes, this is all okay, and yes, I want to pay, okay, before actually confirming it back to the payment. And here now we get payment successful and actually when you check on the ticket it now has gone down from 46 euro down to 44. Well, that makes life so much easier and yet very safe. Thank you. Right, so let's draw a conclusion of all of that. First of all, mobile market is exploding. Uh, the big companies come into biometric authentication, first with the face and then face plus uh, life detection, but still it's rather fakeable. And here we have this procedure of fusing biometric face, biometric voice and word recognition in one simultaneous process. Very difficult to fake at the same time those three procedures. So we have a safe bridge between man and machine. And we ask randomized numbers, so we cut out the replay attack. Basic high level security. Or do face, when I check who is calling me, ear and voice on each call, or face only on each phone, on, on each SMS. So very high utility. The user doesn't have to change his behavior. Everything is handled in an embedded 
uh, application which we call trust level. So I use my authentication against a door or against the payment or whatever whenever I need it. And I do my authentication whenever I do use my phone quite normally anyway. So it's a very smart combination. And what we can do, and what we already have been showing in the other two, three films, was that we can open doors with the physical access control. We can open internet accesses. So for all the salespeople out on the road, they can go to the company servers in a very safe way. We could link e-banking. We could link anything which is digitally linked. And we could even link the Windows logon with that procedure. So I get the security of the machine. Everything is turning around our smartphones and I'm sure this is not just somewhere in the future, this is happening now. So, in fact, we are keen of meeting partners to join us into that field. It could be technical partnerships, it could be commercial partnership, or it could even be a financial partnership. So, give us a sign, uh, biometry.com, this is our site. Uh, take up a contact with us, we would be pleased to let you try the software and to see with you what we could do together. Thank you.